how does one acquire a national interest waiver without a master's degree? Well, actually, the law does provide a very clear pathway for those who are professionals and do not have a master's degree to apply for a national interest waiver under the EB2 category. So before you pursue the national interest waiver, you need to demonstrate that you meet the standard of the second category, EB2. Within the framework of a national interest waiver, what we look for is called the exceptional ability analysis. And the exceptional ability analysis comes under the E21 classification. This is not the same thing as the extraordinary ability analysis. Rather, it is a lesser standard. The exceptional ability analysis is such that one needs to demonstrate three specific criteria in order to qualify. Now, the first criteria that is often looked at is whether you have a bachelor's degree. And that bachelor's degree may be uh, from the US or it could be from outside of the US. Now, when you have a degree from outside of the US, of course, you're gonna need to have it evaluated by an accredited organization in order to demonstrate that it does meet the US equivalency standards. You can also demonstrate E21 exceptional ability through having 10 years of professional work experience. So if you've worked for 10 years and you have a bachelor's degree, you've already met two of the regulatory requirements to demonstrate that you can apply for a national interest waiver. Now that third criteria can be a license to practice your profession. It could be that you have a certification in, a, in your particular field, that you have professional membership in an organization that requires outstanding achievement of its members, that you've performed a leading or essential role for an organization of distinguished reputation, that you have business-related contributions or scholarly-related contributions of major significance, that you've authored published material. Any of these many factors, or even ones that are similarly situated that tend to demonstrate exceptional ability, can overcome the lack of a master's degree and allow you to apply for a national interest waiver without having a master's degree, of course. So you don't need an employer sponsor, you don't need a master's degree. There are ways to think outside the box and enable you to acquire a green card, green card through a national interest waiver. This is particularly important to those who are entrepreneurs and may not have had time to pursue that advanced education because they were busy doing more important things like making money. So if you're out there and you're interested in applying for a national interest waiver, but you do not yet have a master's degree or you do not intend to get a master's degree, don't let that stop you. Contact us at silmilaw.com and we'll be happy to point you in the right direction.